All right, the next topic deals with how forces again can cause change or how forces can be used to do work on objects and we're going to show in this portion how a unbalanced force or a force in general can change one form of energy which is called potential energy sometimes potential energy is referred to as the energy of position uh, although potential energy can take on many forms or various forms of potential energy in this chapter we'll be defining what's called gravitational potential energy and we'll show you how to compute it so if we consider the barbell if you have a barbell and let's say the barbell is sitting on the ground and there's a, a force acting on it downward gravity mg and an upward force it might be a normal force or an applied force you're pulling on it if these forces are equal but opposite this object could rest that's one thing or it could move with a constant velocity let's say upward or downward once it's in motion it will maintain its motion even though there are two forces acting on them if they're balanced it will it'll cruise it will travel with a constant speed so the question is how much work is done on the barbell uh, let's say if this object is moving upward we'd have to apply a force that's equivalent to uh, mg so the apply if work is force times distance and if the force is mg needed to move it upward the force is mg times the distance it travels or the displacement d and we can define not a new equation but just a variation on our equation from work this is the work done by or against gravity mgh and this mgh is commonly referred to as potential energy or to be more specific gravitational potential energy sometimes you'll see us draw GPA it means gravitational potential energy and again gravitational potential energy is just another form of work or another form of energy and it has the ability to cause change this gentleman is lifting a barbell he's doing work on the barbell and so let's say he applies uh, let's pick a nice color it's going to contrast a force upward and that force would be mg and let's say this barbell moves upward through some distance d which we'll call h the work done on it is equivalent to the change in potential energy if work is done on it then your starting energy will be less than your ending energy so down here on the ground we'll call this its starting energy E naught it might be zero or a very small amount of energy up here in the air when he lifts it up if let's say if he lifts it above his head the energy will be great and we'll call that E or E prime or you could call it EF why would you be afraid of it up in the air do you have reason to be afraid of it sure you do that would hurt if it fell and hit you because it has gravitational potential energy so work was done on it and the starting energy was small the ending energy is large because it's been raised through some height h work is done on the barbell by the person let's say he has it up in the air and then boom he drops it it goes to the ground work would be done on the barbell not by the applied force him but work would be done by gravity in that case so work is the ability to cause change again the equation for gravitational potential energy is mgh and from this point forward we'll say gpe equals mgh and it could change energy by going up or down we can define any height to be zero but for height therefore that height would be zero gravitational potential energy so if we're down here on the ground excuse me if we're down here on the ground right there at that location where x marks the spot we can make that an arbitrary we can just arbitrarily say that 
the ground is zero height. If it has zero height, it will have zero GPE. So GPE is mg delta h or h. And if h is zero, it has no gravitational potential energy. Now let's say it goes through a change in height, which is what I was about to do a moment ago, I erased. If it goes through a change in height, then it will experience a change in gravitational potential energy. So as I ascend from the ground, zero meters to, oh, I don't know the first step, I go from there to there, the second step that is, I would have gone through a height change. I experienced a change in gravitational potential energy. Let's say if I go through this height change, I go from one location to another, x to x. If I go through a similar height change, again I would be experiencing the same change in potential energy. As I ascend the ladder, my height is increasing, therefore my gravitational potential is increasing. Do you have reason to be afraid if you're up on the top? Could you fall and get hurt? We wouldn't want that to happen. Absolutely you could fall and get hurt because you have energy stored in you in the form of gravitational potential energy.